Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the design of a centrifugal pump. So, let's get started. Now, here is the question. It is given that design all the components of a centrifugal pump for the following data. Number one, static suction head given as 3 meter. Next, length of the suction pipe is 5 meter. Static delivery head is 15 meter. Next, length of the delivery pipe is 20 meter. Discharge or we can say the flow rate is 1000 LPM that is liters per minute. The fluid to be pumped is given as water and remember if the type of fluid is not specified always we have to assume water. It means the pump is operating or it is pumping water. Then the last step is we have to draw a neat sketch of the assembly with dimensions. So this is the question in front of us. Now in order to start the solution first I will be explaining the centrifugal pump and then we can go into the solution part. So here is the diagram of a centrifugal pump. In this the components are here we have an electric motor then this center portion is the coupling by coupling we means that the motor shaft is directly coupled to the impeller of the centrifugal pump and this part is the centrifugal pump. Now centrifugal pump are those machines which are used for high amount of discharge. It means discharge is the amount of quantity of the fluid which we are pumping. So centrifugal pumps are going to pump huge quantity of water as we have seen in this case the prop in the problem the type of fluid is water so centrifugal pumps are those devices which are going to give us huge amount of discharge and electric motor is directly coupled to the impeller of the centrifugal pump it means they are high speed machines because in case of centrifugal pump we want high discharge so discharge is given by the formula Q is equal to area into velocity that is from the continuity equation. So if we want to increase the discharge, we have to increase the velocity. And if we want the pump to be operated at high velocity, in that case we are connecting it directly with the help of the electric motor. It means there is no gearbox pre present or we can say there is no reduction gearbox in between the electric motor and the impeller of the centrifugal pump because we don't want speed reduction here but we want the pump to be operated at high speed so that we can get huge amount of discharge out of it and this is the delivery pipe which is going to deliver the water water would be delivered out connected to the delivery pipe and then we can store it in a tank and here this center portion of the centrifugal pump is called is called as the impeller and impeller consists of the suction I to which the suction pipe would be connected like here there is a flange it has the holes for the bolts so this flange would be connected to a pipe called as the suction pipe which would be going into the ground from where it is going to take in water and finally when it is taking in water the pump would be delivering the water away from the center that is why it is called as the centrifugal pump delivering the water away from the center and finally it would be discharged through this delivery pipe or we can say it is the delivery because the pipe would be connected over here and that was the short description regarding the elect the centrifugal pump which has been connected to the electric motor directly with the help of coupling in detail we are going to see the design of it and once i have explained the description regarding the centrifugal pump in short now i am going to give you all the steps which are required for the design of the centrifugal pump so that the problems become really simple for us so now i would be giving those steps So there are seven simple steps, there are seven simple steps over here starting with the first step. 
स्टेप नंबर वन इज द डिजाइन डिस्चार्ज एंड डिस्चार्ज इज डिनोटेड बाय क्यू so we are going to design the discharge it means whatever discharge is given in the problem we are going to modify it in step number 1 next step number 2 we are going to design suction and delivery pipes so for the design of suction and delivery pipe we are going to fix the diameter as well as the velocity which with which the water will flow in both these pipes in step number 2 next step 3 here we are going to calculate the manometric head and manometric head is the total resistance which which the centrifugal pump has to overcome in order to lift the water from the sump or from the ground up to the tank so that is the total resistance which we are going to calculate in step number 3 or the total head which the pump has to overcome then step 4 here we are going to select the motor so it is about the motor selection we have to select how much power is given to that motor and in turn that power would be transferred to the impeller at the same time we are going to decide how much is the speed of the shaft or we can say the rpm and so similarly that would be the rpm of the impeller as well because they are directly coupled so that would be step number 4 next step 5 is the impeller design within which we are going to design the dimensions or give the dimensions of the impeller what would be the shape of the impeller which kind of impeller we are going to use so that would be decided in step number 5 then step 6 it will have pump shaft pump shaft and impeller shaft design that is we are going to find out the diameters of the pump and impeller shaft and their length and how much load is acting on these shafts so that would be step number 6 and finally step 7 would be the casing design in which we are going to determine what kind of casing we are going to use for the centrifugal pump what would be the dimensions of that casing and finally what are the angles which are used inside that casing so that would be step number 7 so in short for the centrifugal pump design it can be summarized in these seven easy steps so this was an introduction in which i had explained about the centrifugal pump design i had just given a glimpse of what are the steps required in case of the design of centrifugal pump so for the complete problem or for the complete design of the centrifugal pump you all can refer our app from google play store that is impact the engineering app on which you all can find the complete video so you all can refer that at the end if you all find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching